I'm turning 26 next month and I can't help but feel like I'm supposed to be a lot further in life. It's like the first half of my 20s were gone in a blink and I just couldn't keep up. I had an expectation that life would be smooth sailing after graduating, but instead it seemed like nothing worked out the way I wanted. I was feeling the most lost I've ever felt in my life. In school, you're always told what to do and what to expect, when the next exam will be and everything you need to know to pass it. And you could always check your grades to see how well you were doing. But in life, there's no syllabus. And although I still don't have all the answers, I also can't help but to be incredibly grateful for this brutal yet relieving realization. I can't have it all together because there's still so much that has to come together. I'm reading this book called The Defining Decade, and in it, the author talks about how our brains and our personality change more in our 20s than any other time before or after. And as I'm on this journey of finding purpose and self, I'm realizing that there's no switch I can flip to suddenly have my life together. And that's kind of the beauty of it. We're literally putting the pieces together as we go. And as much as we want to skip to the end, the puzzle wouldn't be as much fun to complete, now would it? The truth is, whether you're turning 20 or 29, every year is new to us and different. And I think what matters the most is what you make of it. I think we look around, especially on social media, and it feels like everyone has it figured out but us. And at one point, I thought the same thing. I'm like, dang, everybody got it all figured out. They know what they're doing with their lives. and. Here I am, <laughs> scrambling around. Really, everyone's trying to figure it out. Some people just make it look better than others. As long as you make the decision to keep going and to keep striving for whatever it is you want, what everybody else is doing and what their timing looks like should not matter to you. I always thought there was this specific timeline I had to follow, and if I didn't follow it, I thought that that meant that I failed. But what really puts you on the path to failure is comparison. You're completely unfocused on what you're supposed to be doing because you're too busy watching everybody else. That's gonna slow you down even more than you think you're being slowed down already. And instead of holding myself to this crazy standard of whatever social media created, which is really what I created in my head, because social media isn't, you know, holding me against the wall <laughs> telling me to do these things. It's me thinking myself into it. Instead of holding myself to these standards, I've decided to just live on my own time and do things on my own time. And a part of that is letting go of control and really just allowing yourself to go through it. I think we are so obsessed with this outcome and with our vision, which is cool. I really want my vision to come to life. But we're so used to seeing everybody live in the fruits of their labor and not actually seeing the process. And so it makes us want to skip that part, the hard part, the ugly part, the part that you don't wanna post. And that's where that impatience comes from. And so I've just been telling myself like, look, you can't skip to the good part. It's just not gonna happen. And honestly, I don't really wanna skip to the good part because the real transformation happens in the middle. So yeah. And I mean, when you really think about it, who's expecting someone in their 20s to have it all figured out anyways? I barely ever know what I want for dinner half the time. In hindsight, it doesn't look like much has changed since I graduated college, but when I really zoom in, I see a big difference and slow progress is still progress. I definitely feel like I'm becoming more of the woman that I dream of being and I know that I'm on the right path to the life that I want, and God is with me, so honestly, I can't lose. <laughs> there's definitely still a lot more progress to be made, and I know that there's much more to come, and even just that alone excites me for the future, because what's even better than the destination is the journey getting there. To those who don't have life together in their 20s, you have your whole life to have it all together. But right now, there's still room for change, 
growth, and so much more to come. Don't worry, you're not running out of time. The only person who's rushing you is you, and you can still create the life that you want. One day, it'll all just make sense. What if a squirrel just pooped on me?